Did I quit on my own challenge? The answer to that's actually kind of complicated. So those of you that follow my channel know that during the month of June, I set myself a 30 day challenge, complete the Alteryx advanced certification. Mine was about to expire. I went out, I failed the test on day one. I gave everybody an overall month long plan to follow. I went out and I gave a study plan for week one and then silence. Now here we are, it is the 17th of the month and I haven't really done much with that challenge since about the third day. So it's been two weeks. And a couple people have asked me about it. And it brings up a question. When do you quit on a goal or something that you're trying to do? The answer is kind of nuanced. Well, first let's talk about what happened with me and the challenge. Then we'll talk about what we're going to do going forward. <clears throat> what happened with me and the challenge was I had a services website that I was using that was a little bit, let's say low rent, is a little bit beginner level. It's good for low level content creators, people just kind of dipping their toe in the water, which was what I was for the longest time. It's very plug and play. There's not a lot of customizable. Ability. Anyway, there's not a lot of customizable options. There's not a lot of work that you have to put into it. You kind of click on the thing and say, well, I want to offer scheduling or I want to offer an e-product or I want to... Super easy. I found out two weeks ago that I had well and truly reached the limitations of this platform. There were glitches happening with it. People that wanted to hire me to write their resumes couldn't get to the pay portal. If they did pay, suddenly it wasn't giving them the prompts that they needed in order to get my services. And this was something that I just couldn't, couldn't live with. I went and I bought a new platform. This platform is much more high level and it requires a lot more either label, labor or capital. You can either build a website yourself or you can pay them to build a website. I figured I would build it myself get the experience, understand what's going on inside the black box. That's always a good thing. But it was very labor intensive. It was labor intensive for me. I co-opted my son into helping me. Meanwhile, we've still got customers coming in and people that have already paid. And so that begs the question, did I quit on the challenge? No, absolutely not. I reprioritized. I realized that there was a greater need for something else and that I didn't have the bandwidth for full-time job, family, project one and project two. At a certain point, your time is finite. You only get so much of it and you owe the, the bulk of it to your main job and to your family. And what's left over that you can budget can go to all of these other things. I had budgeted what was left over for the 30 day Alteryx challenge, I had to reprioritize for the last two weeks to helping my business. It is what it is. I will finish out the YouTube content for the 30 day challenge. I will complete the certificate within 30 days. We'll all have a good laugh about it. I'll go back and I'll make build out the rest of the content for that series and it'll exist for time immemorial. But this begs the overarching question. I didn't quit, I reprioritized. So the question is, when do you quit on a goal or a plan that you've had for yourself? And the answer is never. You never quit on a goal or a plan unless you figure out somehow that you were horribly mistaken and the whole thing is destructive. But it does beg the question, and I've asked this throughout my data career, when do you change priorities? When what point do you realize it's time to switch horses midstream? You're studying Python on platform A, and suddenly you realize that platform B is vastly superior. Do you finish out that course of study or do you switch? This is part of a larger topic, but it was part of something that I saw throughout my time in the military that people want to rule. 
they want a corollary, an axiom, something that never changes, a basic truth. The difficult realization in this case is there's no basic truth. You switch horses midstream when you realize that the benefit of switching outweighs the benefit of staying. And there are benefits to staying. Even if something else may be more advantageous in the short run, in the long run, it may be worth it to stick it out through the end of the goal. But you realize at some point that something is more important and you switch. That begs the question, well, how do you know? The difficult answer is experience. I've had enough experience of sticking out a project or goal, even though I realized it wasn't the most productive thing until it was finished. And I've had experience switching. And at a certain point, you learn to identify the differences. You can do a cost benefit analysis. You can say, well, what's the, what's the output in the long run? How much more time is it going to take me if I switch? And you just break it down like an analyst. You want a data career, you want to be in analytics. Well, you should be able to analyze the things that you're doing. I've had vehement arguments with people on LinkedIn about this, that they find that it's, it's irresponsible of me to, to insist that somebody be able to analyze their own lives. I'll die on that hill every day. So <clears throat> to sum up, when do you quit? Never. When do you reprioritize? Well, when through the course of your experience and your matrix for viewing life, you realize that there's something better for you. And the, the benefits of switching to that new thing outweigh the costs or outweigh the benefits of sticking to the plan. Our friends, I hope that's helpful to you. I hope that you are planning and executing for yourselves in an effective manner. And if you have questions, please hit me up in the comments. Semper Fidelis, and I'll talk to you later.